For me, my dad was my hero growing up, uh, him and my brother, and uh, he, he coached us both growing up in basketball my whole life, you know, until high school. He wasn't my high school coach, but I mean, after every single game, he was, he was my personal coach, you know, and even today, after every single game, he, uh, I, go, I go to him willingly because I want advice from him because he knows a lot about the game. And um, so, you know, being a coach and uh, he's provided for me as a, as a dad should and, and he, he did. He's, uh, he's the reason why I'm able to be here in school um, and to, to play basketball. One thing you know, Mr. Cusick always does is give us Christmas ham. So we always enjoy the Christmas hams he brings us and uh, they're a great family. He actually collapsed in the middle of the night, he got up um, and he fell and he, he collapsed and he hit his head on the way down and so um, my mom woke up and he was obviously bleeding on his head from where he fell but they quickly realized that he had some internal bleeding um, so they called the ambulance this is early Sunday morning maybe about 5 a.m. Um, when he was rushed to the hospital they the doctor looked at him um, they needed to find where the internal bleeding was at by then I was you know by an hour or so later I was down there um, and they did a scope on, on Sunday to, to look down to see if they're where it was coming from um, and that's when they found a growth or a tumor um, in a small intestine. The doctors um, told us that they thought it was cancer but the, the pathologist hadn't actually read the biopsy yet so we hadn't we didn't have the final results so we were kind of hanging on to that thread that may be a miracle you know that it wouldn't be um, cancer. So right before shoot around I, think, I don't think the official diagnosis came in yet but I asked Craig if they got the results back because he told me the day before that it might come either Tuesday or Wednesday so I asked him what the results were like and he said it's 99 percent you know cancer for the most part that they, that they know at this time and uh, in our pre walkthrough meeting as a staff coach told us that it was more than likely cancer and that it was going to be really hard for Craig and we just needed to make sure we were aware of it and and just talked, you know, we all commented about how tough the kid is and that it's an amazing thing that he'd be able to to even function going through something like that in the same day. After shoot around yesterday is when I uh, talked to my family and the doctor had come in and the pathologist was uh, agreed that it's, uh, that it's uh, adenocarcinoma is what it's called. Um, and it's in a really rare location where oftentimes cancer doesn't happen. Uh, which makes it extremely difficult to uh, do surgery and recover from. So he was kind of trying to go about preparation for the game like he normally would. And obviously it's not an inside. We don't know what's going on inside of him, but um, we were all thinking about him. I, mean, I know I was for sure um, leading up to it. I knew it had to have been a, a hard day at the hospital, at shoot around at the hospital again and then come to the game. The, the comment that Craig made when Coach talked to him about you know, how he wanted to handle it he just said my dad would want me to play. Of course he wanted me to be playing and so you know it was for it was for him and it was for me you know to, to try to get my mind off it for a minute but uh, it was it was just an incredible experience. Craig is one of our toughest guys he's a guy that seems to always kind of make a big play and so we we just we hung with him because he's he's one of our best options in terms of toughness and last night's game was a tough game tough physical game. Five seconds Carlino for three, off the front end, followed by Cusick, it's over. We're in zone, and it's a play we run. We bring our, our five-man, run him up, and screen the zone. And the way they react to it is kind of determines where the ball goes. Matt came off a screen, and you know, that play's drawn for, you know, if he's open, take a shot. If not, kick it to me, I'm on the wing. And then I think Brock was in the corner. Um, you know, if I'm not open, hit him, or maybe hit Brandon inside. And, you know, with the time that we had left on the clock, Matt had a good look at it. Um, from my angle, I had a perfect view of his shot, and it worked perfectly. You know, I saw it coming off the front of the rim, and so I ran to that spot where I thought it was going to come off, and um, luckily I was able to, to make one shot on the night. He just happened to go right where the ball was. He had great instinct, and it was such a, it was a magical moment. You couldn't write it any better. I can't explain my feelings that happened as that shot went through. You know, I, like I said before, I just turned to my bench. You know, I saw, I saw some of my best friends running at me and, and just jumping and hugging me, and I was just screaming and yelling. And, um, you know, because obviously instantly my dad popped in my head right as I went through the, right as I went through the hoop. I ran over to him trying to control him, trying to, like, bring him in. You know, it's hard when someone makes a shot like that, though. But um, 
and then I hugged him, and I even told him that was for your dad. And uh, I know after the game, Coach Rose kind of said some words. I guess what did what did he say to the team after the game about this? Because you have the, yeah. the joy of celebration, and then you then you address this. Yeah, you know he was he was really sympathetic and uh, and caring uh, for all of us. You know he touched on the game um, and and that it's great to get a win against us, but he. He quickly, uh, you know, showed a lot of compassion uh, for my family and any cancer patients, any anything anyone's going through, um, you know. And he he showed an extreme amount of love towards me as right at the end of the game, you know. That was the first time as a group we had talked about Craig's dad, and you know, Coach Rose handled it like he does everything, just perfectly, and made sure Craig knew that as a team, as a coaching staff, we all had his back, and we have, you know, our prayers are out there for his family and the support. Uh, is completely there for him and, and that he's got a, a group right here behind him that'll they'll be with them all the way through this. So when we went over to the hospital, uh, you know, I know that a, a couple friends actually stopped by and watched the second half with my dad in the hospital so he didn't have to watch it alone and the game. And so he just said, um, you know, that they were they were screaming and yelling. I think they woke up a few of the other hospital, <laughs> hospital patients that were near my dad. Um, but he just he just told me that he was proud of me, and uh, when I got there, we just hugged and cried for a little bit. But uh, he didn't he was quiet. He didn't say much. And I, but I could feel his love and his support. But last night kind of put it in perspective for all of us. We this is why we do what we do. Um, it's the human interest. It's the people involved. And I think that if you can focus on that and try to really do the best thing for the kids and the people involved, it's that's where the lasting memories are made. But he prepared well. I mean, he he came out there, and even though he didn't have a sh great shooting night, he comes up clutch when we need him to, just like he does after every practice shooting half-court shots. I laugh with my family because it's like, you know, who knew that going one for seven in a game could could happen? This could happen, you know. And um, all credit goes to you know my teammates and my coaches. You know, they carried us through the whole game. You know, and I made one shot that uh, obviously put us over the edge. But uh, I just appreciate the coaches, my teammates. I give all the credit in the world to them and my family. The love that all of our our team, including the coaching staff and the players have for the Q6. I mean, they're, they're great people. They're one of the best families I know. This community has really, really backed my family and it's made a difference in, uh, in my family's lives and in my dad's life. And we believe he's gonna fight through it, you know, especially with all the support and all the prayers that we know that are behind us now. And uh, so it's just been incredible, that's all. Thank <laughs> you.